uh, they're just ever present, I think, in, well, I guess human culture, but certainly British culture. You know, I think if you were born early 70s, they, was, they, they were in the ether still, and it's just the music. I mean, the music is just extremely good. It's extremely good music. Do you know what I mean? It's like, without all the hyperbole, it's just, they're really good. Like, if they came out last week, we'd go, oh, no, they're good. They're really good. Um, and they're funnier than most people. They're better writers than anybody. You know, they weren't, this, like, as, as a group of musicians, they weren't the best group of technical musicians ever. You know, there were people who could have outplayed them at Woodstock. No one could outwrite them. No one could outcreate them at all. I don't think anyone has come close, actually. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so, no, it's mad. I mean, I'm not saying they're not great musicians. Of course they are. But you know what I mean? Is it's not like they weren't all virtuosic. No, they weren't. But Christ Almighty, I mean, there's no no one comes close. I think this output in in seven years of recording, nobody has made that sort of leaps and bounds, you know. And we're still marvelling at it now. You know, as we know, top bands take in six years to make an album. It's like if they'd waited that long, they would have gone from "Love Me Do" to the White Album. It's like that's the time it took. That's the time it takes someone now to make an album. It's, you know, yeah, I, I will love them forever. Yeah. Oh man, it's, yeah, I'm extremely excited. As I'm sure you are, and I'm sure everybody. You know, I mean, I think everyone's just like a little kid today. I could, you know, I, I can't believe my luck to be invited to this. I'm so happy about it. Yeah. I'm really excited. I've made a few people very jealous. Yeah. They were. Elvis was quite funny. Elvis was funny, but um, there weren't many people who allowed themselves to be themselves before then. You know, and a lot of people since then haven't either because they're too busy doing the showbiz dance and not letting their natural spirit shine through. And I think that's what captivated the world. It was not only the music, but when they saw them interview, it's like these four people who are—they've got chemistry. They're funny. There's no particular one leader. No one's just being boring and plastic for showbiz reasons. They were all just being silly, you know, a lot of the time in interviews, and I love that about them.